Patrick Rea here, CP Media Team, here at the end of the crater room. We've got Scotty Hawking here, Scotty. Second place today. Um, not the result we're after, but uh, talk us through how you run with. Yeah, yeah, I mean, seeing that place, yeah, obviously it's always nice to run first, but Western is just the first night here today, and um, yeah, pretty, uh, happy enough. Um, kind of over these short distance races, I'm looking forward to a 100k or 100 mile, but um, yeah, probably have to wait until next year for that, but oh, it's still nice to be running on the Port Hill, it's just a beautiful course, so um, no, it's pretty good. And it is a sprint race for someone like yourself, in terms of, which is crazy to even say that, yeah, um, yeah. Uh, but in terms of the terrain and how you went on this terrain over the so, as you say, sprint course, how did you feel that you went on some of the downhill and technical stuff? Yeah, it was pretty good actually. Um, I just definitely didn't have the climbing race today. I think I was probably evenish on the downhills and on the flats. Um, but yeah, climbing, yeah, West was just, yeah, he was in league of his own today. So. so up Mount Herbert, you guys sort of pulled away, but you were um, you were power walking opposed to actually trying to, like running that? Yeah, me and Wes were hiking. I think a few guys behind us that were, trying, were, were running up. And I mean, everyone's got different styles, you know, like some guys are going to, you know, Run every step of the way, and some will hike, and you'll get to the same spot at the same time. So you just got to play your strengths. Yeah. And, um, and that, for you, efficiency-wise, it just works for you. Yeah, that's yeah. it. Yeah, I mean, you just got to weigh it up, and you know, if you're going to run up, you're going to be 20 seconds quicker than then how your legs are going to be once you get to right. the top. So yeah. Yeah, you just weigh it up and pick your battle. So yeah, good. Yeah. Andy, we're still in the fight. How do you feel like you're um, towards the back end of the race? Were you, um, like, were you close to West, or what were you doing there? Yeah, we're still we're still pushing. Like I was getting time splits, um, and yeah, I sort of heard sort of seven to nine minutes um, yep. and so yeah I was still pushing and then sort of got to a point where I realised that there just wasn't enough real estate left to, okay, yeah. to, to pull in you know yeah. nine or ten minutes um, so a second left back out to Diamond Harbour would have been the go yeah yeah it would have been <laughs> turn around and go back I think yeah, um, would have been maybe maybe nice but um, yeah no full credit to Wes he just had a phenomenal race this year like um, I mean that was yeah obviously I think a world class performance because yeah he I mean 4.37 or 4.38 like, which was again awesome. about and, and you were what 5 uh, 4.47 yeah, so, yep. so there are thereabouts, and, and both of you are under the course record, which is pretty impressive. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's, all, it's different each year, you know, like, I mean, the courses are sometimes slightly different, or conditions are slightly different, um, and so it's kind of hard to say one year versus another, but, um, yeah, I mean, you know, the course is the course, and you just run as fast as you can yeah, on it, so. Good. And nutrition, what did you do for that today? A uh, lot of gels, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, a bit of sports drink, a um, bit of sushi rice, a bit of bananas, okay, um, right. so, yeah, just trying to mix it up a little bit. Um, yeah, I mean, even a short, oh, sorry, short, <laughs> short race like this, um, it's a wee bit too long just to go gel after gel yep, for yep. You know, four and a half, five hours. So yep. um, yeah, it's good to get some solid food, and, um, but just easily digestible stuff yep. like you know bananas and sushi rice and avocado just goes down pretty well. So next um, yeah. week, what's next for you? Uh, not sure. Um, possibly the Valley Ultra um, in November, um, and then Tarawa in February. So um, which, which is a hundred k, but it's a wee bit flat hundred k. So I might have to need aeroplanes to start flying again so I can get over Europe and race uh, big mountains hundred k. Yeah. Um, oh, it's, it's good fun just you know, mixing it up with something. Well, to be honest, it's great with everyone being stuck in New Zealand because all yeah. these PBs are here at the moment. Yeah. So, um, yeah, it's good to be racing at home. And, and good to be racing with some form and, and running well and, and, and your body's feeling good? Yeah, not too bad. Um, I picked up a bit of a niggle um, about three weeks ago. Um, so I had about two and a half weeks off running, which wasn't quite ideal, but I got running again about 10 days ago. Um, and so, yeah, it wasn't ideal, but in saying that everyone's got niggles and injuries and yeah. this and that. So, yeah, I mean, no excuses. Um, yeah. Hey, good job, mate. So, yeah. oh, good stuff. Well, all the best for your um, the summer ahead, and uh, well done on a fantastic performance yeah. today. Awesome. Cheers,